Knowing what stage to pick against your opponent is very important. There are a variety of different stages that have different advantages in different matchups. So, what are Banjo's best stages? Let's talk about it. Just a reminder that I stream on Twitch Monday, Thursday, Saturday at twitch.tv slash jplay underscore underscore underscore. I play Smash, do coaching, and sometimes do variety. See you there. So for this video, I want to go over what are Banjo's best stages and why they are his best stages. This is based off Banjo's neutral, his counterplay to types of characters, and how much he benefits off each stage. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subs by the end of July and you can help make it happen. Almost every tournament set starts with, wanna go PS2? Pokemon Stadium 2 is the neutral of all neutral stages. There's a fair size, not too big, not too small. It has two parallel platforms that allow for either player to have the same advantage state when it comes to positioning on the stage. The blast zones are about medium size, allowing for kill confirms anywhere from 60% on. PS2 is Banjo's best stage because he loves two things, platforms and zoning. Banjo gets so many combo extensions off platforms and has a strong bait and punish game with available room on the stage. Banjo can use the platforms for egg letter combos on stage or from ledge. He can also drop grenades from either side of the platform with plenty of room to wrangle them and use them in neutral. Ledge trapping is extremely strong here because you can release a grenade at roll distance and then man the platform with blaster or dash dance to repair for all options. Rushdown characters, especially sorties, love approaching with aerials. With all the space on the main stage, Banjo can dash back and use multiple options to stuff out opponents. He can use grounded rear grenade, angled up forward tilt, back air, or B reverse Briegel blaster. All these options are great for keeping your opponent at bay and controlling the tempo of the match. Banjo can also recover well in the stage because of the umbrella shape of it. He can protect himself from above, by double and triple jumping from beneath the main platform. He can also bounce eggs and grenades off the stage for edge guarding mix ups. You can force opponents under the main stage as well with descending back air or reverse descending back air. Without a doubt, PS2 benefits Banjo and helps him reach his potential. Up next, Battlefield. Although Battlefield is much smaller than Pokemon Stadium 2, the platform extensions get even better. Regal Blaster ladders can rack up more damage and can kill earlier with up tilt on the top platform. Grenades can be dropped from any platform and Banjo can pull them up with many different options. Banjo has a lot of combo trees that start with landing aerials, so having many platforms so close together allows him to take advantage of this. Examples include landing up air, landing back air, and landing forward air. One of Banjo's biggest struggles is his airspeed and mobility. Having so many platforms for him to jump from one to the next allows him to maneuver himself faster than he would be able to in midair. This also helps him land better because he can mix it up so well. Recovering off stage is also great because of the many possibilities. Banjo can use the bottom of the stage to protect himself from opponent's attacks, and even as a once in a while mix up, dropping down from ledge and rocketing over to the other side. Banjo can still bait and punish in Battlefield, but is slightly harder due to the fact that there isn't enough room and opponents can mix up their approach options with platforms. However, Banjo needs combos that will net him damage considering his damage output is so low, and Battlefield helps him execute his best streams. Ledge trapping is phenomenal on Battlefield because you can release grenades at ledge, elevate yourself to platforms with eggs, and be ready to drop through to catch rolls or other options as well. Trapping your opponent in the corner becomes so easy and allows you to keep your opponent off stage for as long as possible. Overall, Pokemon Stadium 2 and Battlefield are Banjo's best stages. I do also want to briefly cover Banjo's worst stages and why. His two worst stages are Final Destination and Kalos Pokemon. So why are these Banjo's worst stages? Kalos is a large stage with plenty of room for Banjo to bait and punish and good sized blast zones. However, FD and Kalos share similar weaknesses. With no platforms, Banjo will struggle to escape juggles and heavy combos. His air mobility is bad and his weight is perfect for combos, so trying to escape and mix up your movement patterns will be extremely difficult when there are no platforms to assist him. 
FD is a small main stage with smaller blast zones and the best Banjo can really do is try to put up a wall against his opponents. But unfortunately, as soon as the opponent finds ways through it, Banjo will get overwhelmed and struggle to get out of the corner. His combo game can only go so far without platform extensions, which can make it difficult for him to rack up damage in neutral without hard reads. Kalos shares these weaknesses. Yes, Kalos does have platforms, but due to their locations, Banjo's raw neutral will not be as good as it can be. Banjo has the ability to juggle some, but his up air does little damage and has lower knockback, so at most it'll be an annoyance more than a super threatening juggles tool similar to Game & Watch up air. Even ledge trapping is difficult. Grenade at ledge are good, but with platform location, opponents can recover vertically fairly easily if not called out by a read. When Banjo tries to recover, the walls on Kalos force them to be very linear. Characters such as Captain Falcon, Mario, or Samus with great spikes will have an easy time catching recoveries and playing off the wall to pressure the bear offstage. Depending on the matchup, FD and Kalos are always my go-to bands so I can avoid any of these pitfalls. In reality, Banjo can do decently on almost any stage, but it is important to know the strengths and how to enhance them with the environment. Comment down below a stage not listed here and how Banjo does on it. Thanks for watching this video, I appreciate all the support and hope to see you on the next one. Until then.